Mercedes. Just say, hey Mercedes, to activate voice control features. Schedule service and enjoy free pickup and delivery at Mercedes-Benz of Arlington. Now, ABC 7 News at 11, on your side. Well, tonight, proof that social distancing is working, a thanks to the American people, and a word of caution that the fight against COVID-19 is not over yet. Here's a look at tonight's top headlines. A key member of the White House Coronavirus Task Force shares new numbers that show sacrifices made now can pay off big. And a new requirement for those in Maryland. Why shoppers tell us it is a small sacrifice to make to keep others safe. Plus, a story of how friends and families saved the day. How one couple turned a change of plans into a powerful show of love. That is still ahead. But we begin with the protesters who took to the streets of Annapolis today in defiance of Governor Larry Hogan's restrictions. This was the scene near the State House as Skytrack 7 flew overhead. People there say they're worried that the governor's stay-at-home order is only hurting the economy. The protest comes one day after Hogan said an economic recovery plan will be coming next week. And a promise from the president who says the country will open up quickly in many places. But as Sinclair National Correspondent Christine Rizal reports, some major concerns exist for reopening too fast. Growing frustration across the country, from Annapolis, Maryland, to Columbus, Ohio, to Minneapolis, Minnesota, where protesters voiced displeasure about the impact of stay-at-home orders on their lives. So I'm a small business owner and my business was shut down forcibly on the 17th of March and I have yet to see any unemployment, any money come through from the government. President Trump tonight signaling he's hearing from some governors they do plan on reopening businesses soon. Texas and Vermont will allow certain businesses to open on Monday while still requiring appropriate social distancing precautions. Montana will begin lifting restrictions on Friday. Ohio, North Dakota, and Idaho have advised non-essential businesses to prepare for a phased opening starting May 1st. Florida's governor already opened some beaches in the state, as others say they're not ready and still need far more help from the federal government, particularly with more testing. Testing is how you monitor the rate of infection and you control for it. And that is the whole tension in reopening. Others concerned relaxing social distancing guidelines too soon could mean a spike in new cases, as many hospitals have finally gotten their numbers under control. A decline in numbers praised at the White House. What this graph illustrates is the amazing work of the American people to really adhere to social distancing. This was some, this was nothing we had ever attempted to do as a nation. Meanwhile, governors across the country have now formed coalitions with other governors in their region and plan to involve doctors, economists, and other officials to help them decide how and when to open their economy, with most insisting it will be in incremental steps and will involve lots of coordination. I'm Christine Frizzau, ABC7 News. And here's a closer look at the numbers that Dr. Burks referenced. Here you can see about 15 days ago, Seattle's case numbers started to increase. But as the days go on, the bars lower. Dr. Burks also said the Seattle metro area took strict measures at the start of the pandemic, and that may have helped get those numbers down. Well, tonight, devastating developments out of Charles County, where health officials there say there are now 101 confirmed COVID-19 cases in the county's nursing homes and assisted living facilities. That's up from earlier this week when the county reported 90 infected residents and 23 infected staff members at six different facilities. Nursing homes have been some of the hardest hit places during the coronavirus pandemic since seniors are at high risk. And this is where we stand in confirmed cases tonight. Virginia reported 550 new cases since yesterday for a total of 8,053. That's one of the largest one-day increases for the Commonwealth since the pandemic began. The district now has more than 2,600 cases, and Maryland still has the most cases in the DMV with more than 12,000. Now, during the White House Coronavirus Task Force update, President Trump called out governors around the country and said their social distancing restrictions are too tough. But things took a turn when he specifically mentioned...